Hey Green Wave fans, it's Troy Dannon, Ben Weiner, Director of Athletics here at Tulane University. One of the neat things that I get to do in this position is, is welcome you know, some alums back to campus, some, some uh, uh, former staff members back to campus, and, and the chance to interact with a lot of folks from, from various television networks, from other institutions. You get, you get to touch a lot of people off, off our campus that, that have a good sense and perspective of what Tulane Athletics is. And, and so this year we, we wanted to give you a little something different, maybe a little insight, and, and, and hear from some of those people that, that happen to come around from time to time. And we, we finally have a guy that, that came around from time to time. It's been since 1987, but, but Mac Brown, uh, former coach, former athletic director, back on campus uh, uh, to celebrate, really, his induction into the upcoming College Football uh, Hall of Fame. The, the formal ceremony will take place in December, but uh, uh, it's our opportunity with the Wake Forest game to bring Mac back, recognize him, uh, get him on the field, and give him a salute. And, Mac, can't thank you enough for coming back. Well, thank you, Troy. It's, uh, I've been kind of busy for the last 30 years, so it, it, was, it was hard to get back. And uh, it's been so exciting to be on this campus and see how much has been done since we left and uh, a stadium, which was a live stream at, at, at the point when we were here because we were in the Superdome and our contract wasn't really good at that time. Uh, and it was hard for students and, and fans to get down there with, with all the traffic and problems and issues. And, and then to have this building. We were in the Muck Simon trailer, uh, basically, and we had our entire athletics program in the trailer, and, and uh, this is a beautiful building, and uh, it's, it's withstood the test of time pretty well. I know you got some more to do and, and need to expand some because you've done such a great job of, of making this program uh, uh, a factor nationally and, and making it bigger, and uh, that's what life's all about is expanding and moving forward, and you've sure done a great job, but it's uh, fun to be back, and thank you for having me back. You, you talk about dreams, and the stadium was a dream for a lot of people a long time. It finally came to, to fruition five years ago. But, but this building, you know, this is the hub of the athletics department in every way, shape, and form. And, and uh, I, I joked a little bit, the president was in this office uh, where we're filming this right now a, a couple of days ago and remarking about how there's the expanse of windows and the view is better than his. And you can see the Superdome out one window and the, the stadium out the other. And I said, well, of course. I mean, the guy that designed it was not only the football coach, he was the AD. He had complete control of everything. But, you know, you had the vision. You, you had the, the first dream that, that, you know, really to get some, the infrastructure to support a, a fully functional, successful Division I athletics program. Well, we had a, we had a fun three years. Uh, you were so nice to bring back some of the players and coaches last night that we had dinner with. And, and just to listen to them and how passionate they are about this place and, and what happened when we were here. Uh, to see what Willie's doing right now, to see this building, to, to actually feel and see a campus stadium, which was a hope and a dream more than an actuality at that time, uh, is, is really, really cool for me. And it, it makes you feel so good that you were just a little part of this many years ago. Well, you talk about the dinner with the guys last night and, and to sit there and sit around the table and just kind of take it all in. I think a lot of people either lose sight or never really have sight of you know what the job is of a of a football coach. You know, you everybody's thinking it's it's about winning and losing and and what what play are you going to play and how are you going to stop this on the other side of the ball. But you know these these guys in the room are 50 years old and and they're talking like it was yesterday and and that's got to be one of the most gratifying parts of of, of the profession. Uh, it is, and it's it's why you do what you do. It's about kids, and it's a it's about taking young people and preparing them for better life after the sport that they have when they're here. And I, I think that we forget that. We, we, we get into wins and losses, and even as a coach, your identity becomes how many games you win. And when you get through and you look back, it's about how many lives you changed, not how many games you win. And I wish every coach in America could have sat there last night and listened to those guys because, number one, you understand that every little thing you say to them, they remember they might not have heard exactly what you said, but it's what they heard that's more important than what you said. And it does impact their lives because this many years later, they're talking about, yeah, coach said this and you said this and you did that. And, and it, it changed my life at that time. And coaches would be much more careful about what they ask or what they say or how they treat a young person if they knew the influence they really had on their lives this many years later. Coach, appreciate everything. and, and uh... Look forward to seeing you on Saturday in a different setting uh, through the, 
through the big box on the wall, but uh, appreciate all that you've done for Tulane and really appreciate the fact that you took the time to come back. I know your schedule's crazy and you're getting ready for opening weekend, but the fact that you're here means the world to us. So uh, thanks so much. Thank you, Troy. I'm so excited to be back and uh, go wave.